This is beyond what my expectations were, I think, at the beginning. Yeah. It's, uh, it's been a lot more fun than I thought. It's been a lot harder than I thought. A lot more rewarding than I thought. For more than four decades, Grandma's Bakery has been building a reputation as a premier baker and generous donor. So the basic process starts with mixing things. Owner John Lupo began his business at a boarded up Mr. Donut on the east side of St. Paul in 1978. Realizing he couldn't make it on donuts alone. It's quite a blast to heat though, you'll feel it. He expanded into a bakery, moving to Wiper Lake in 1992, continuing to expand this space on Berkeley Road and adding a downtown location in 2008. When you're dealing with the flag, you've got to be very careful. Lupo, known for his generosity, has supported many causes, most recently making a flag for the event America is Beautiful, using more than 1,200 cupcakes and putting in a full day's work to plan, prepare, deliver, and assemble the flag to benefit troops serving overseas. It's because of those guys that we are here living the dream and so we can donate some time and some cupcakes uh, to make their day feel like Christmas in the middle of August or September and I thought that's pretty cool. I I'm happy to do that. Lupo, uh, who is the president of the Retail Bakers of America, is also the founder of National Bakery Day, falling every year on September 27th. Small bakeries or independent bakeries are, are usually small businesses, family run. We employ a lot of people. We are there for breakfast, lunch, dinner, every occasion, every celebration. The bakery is a part of that. We are a very important part of the fabric of our community. We are generous to a fault. Uh, National Bakery Day is a day to celebrate that. We'll probably do uh, a dozen, 15 different bread types every day. Over 100 employees operate the two stores and the wholesale baking operation, delivering to over 300 companies, including Surly Brewing and U.S. Bank Stadium. Lupo credits his can-do attitude and work ethic to Grandma's longevity and growth, and his ability to put things into perspective. But in the end, it's his love of the job that's kept him working 24-7, including holidays, for 41 years. I hope to be a part of this uh, for the rest of my life, and uh, I hope it happens. I love it. I love what I do.